There's a very high price that is paid for people who say, gee, we do not really know what is going on in these cases. Because the moment you sort of argue that there are no fixed rules, that there are no formal boundaries, what happens is you're necessarily left in the position where there's no law at all. And now what you do is you fall into chaos. Or where there's a huge amount of legislative discretion, where when you decide that the various government agencies issue edicts and dictates, these are perfectly clear because they're willing to back them up with a gun. And what you have to do is to have a much more sensible view of language, which is that relativism is always wrong, that every legal rule, on the other hand, is presumptively valid, but it's subject to various kinds of principled exceptions. And then you figure out how you develop them in the tort laws because of assumption of risk and contributory negligence and contracts. It's mistake, frustration, misrepresentation, and so forth. With property, it turns out to be a rather sophisticated body of nuisance law. And if you start out with the notion that you can actually make sense of this system, if you work hard at it, you will make sense of it. But if you take the opposite kind of position and assume that the world turns out to be just this unruly, disorganized, and rather problematic place, then you will lapse into the form of rational basis discourse, which says, you know, there's a good argument for saying that 2 plus 2 equals 5. And we're not going to say that it's right, but who are we to say that it turns out to be wrong? And you know, so you start seeing extreme statements of that form going. And what happens is that discretion in virtually every case is directed, in the cases I've talked about at least, and it's a large part of the world, to the choice between state monopoly and private competition. And on that choice, we have a clear and uniform body of economic, political, and social theory, which says that competition in markets for goods and services across and within states outperforms the other regulatory system. And we have a Supreme Court 9 nothing today, which doesn't seem to have understood that particular proposition, and so announces various forms of ad hoc fixes of very bad doctrine, so that the liberals are consistently wrong and the conservatives are consistently confused.